So this here is the purple Irish moss, sea moss, for those who know it as sea moss. Um, this is how the sea moss looked before you even pull it out the bag. So what you're gonna do is basically pour a handful, even less than that, a handful is enough for a jar. A jar lasts for about two weeks depending on how often you consuming the sea moss. So you're gonna take a handful and you're gonna put it in a bowl, okay? And you're gonna run water over that, okay? And then you're gonna let that sit with the top on it for 24 hours. After 24 hours, your sea moss should be looking like this, okay? Should be swelled up. And the size is really like multiplied because it's really, really thick, as you can see, and swelled up. So what I'm going to do to this here is I'm just going to go ahead and run some water over it and wash it. Wash it thoroughly. I'm washing it now. And then put it in the bowl here on the side. And I'm going to continue that until all of my CMOS is washed well. And then I'm going to show you how I blend this up and make it a good, good, good paste that you can use in the morning for your smoothies. Um, you can make all kinds of sliced cheeses with it. You can even consume it right out the jar if you don't have time or ingredients to make you a smoothie. It's not the most tastiest way to consume it, but you can also do it that way. So this is how it looks after you finish washing the sea moss. Okay, it looks like this. It's like got a clear look. Make sure you get all of the seashells out and all of the dirt and whatever from the sea. Um, so at this point, what I wanna do is, if you do have a pair of kitchen scissors, okay, you can definitely use it to chop this sea moss up and put it in this blender. Okay, so what I wanna do here is, I'm gonna start to drop the sea moss I'm just chopping it down a little bit. Just like you would do pasta canna. Them scissors should go straight through that sea moss. That's how you know it's ready. Shouldn't be hard to go through. And then I'm just gonna gradually put, not a lot too. Not a lot. As you can see here, this is the amount of sea moss I have in my bullet. Okay. And now I'm just going to add, I would say, a third a cup of water. Not a lot. I don't want this to have a lot of water in it because I still want it to stay like a gel. Okay. And if you see that it's really not enough water in there, you can gradually add it as you blend, but you don't wanna start with a lot of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up. So yeah, it's on there, and I'm gonna go ahead and begin blending this. I must say, guys, I'm so sorry. I keep flipping my camera. I'm just trying to get used to doing this the proper way. Hope that didn't bother anybody in the process of preparing the sea moss. So yeah. When it starts to get like that, you can take it off and kind of shake it up. And then... Yeah, 
yeah, so I did um, add two spoons of water to this to make it a bit more, um, to get the gel to be a bit more soft. This is how it should look when it's finished. Of course, when you're blending it in small amounts, it looks like this. Like it's not really any in the blender, but the paste should be sticky. You want to have a sticky, sticky paste. Um, and now I'm just going to take this and put it inside this bowl. And then once it full up, I'm going to remove it and put it in my glass um, jar or mason jar. Um, and that's it. So I want to show you how it looks. See how it's really like the consistency is really sticky it's like a jelly or something yeah so just in case you didn't know I'm gonna um, read to you a few benefits of purple sea moss also known as Irish So I have been taking or consuming purple Irish moss for about a year and a half now. And really I felt an instant change overall in my daily activities as far as energy, even more head relaxed. I don't really feel stressed, so it's really hard for me to get to a point where I'm stressed. It really relaxes you. Um, it boosts your body with new energy, supports and develops immun immunity against colds and flus. It removes mucus, mucus and toxins out of the body. It helps balance their ward hormones. It can improve moodness, moodiness, excuse me, agitation, depression. and inoxity. It contains anti-inflammatory and antiviral properties. So yeah, it has a lot of good benefits and really once you start taking the sea moss, you can really feel that difference once you don't have it. It's full of minerals. Okay, the sea moss normally contains 92 out of the 102 minerals that your body contains already so it's really a super 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 food yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and continue blending this up and then i'll come back and show you how my jar looks and what i can do with it So this is another batch that I'm pouring into my bowl here. As you can see, it's a different consistency. It's a bit um, more loose, but that doesn't matter. After you put all of your batches in a bowl, you can mix it all together, okay, and then you can move it into your mason jar. And that's it. I'm just filling up my jar now so that I can put it in the fridge. And I can have these smoothies and whatever else. This is what you use to add to anything. You can take this by just consuming it like this. I wouldn't recommend that. I don't like it that way. But I'm definitely going to tune in again to show, to show you guys some delicious um, smoothies and different things you can prepare with the Irish purple Irish moss. But this is how it looks in your mason jar. And this is what you're gonna put in your fridge, right on that side door. And you're gonna grab it every morning and throw it in the blender with your fruit of choice and consume it. 
and you're gonna be much more healthier and you're gonna feel better and why not thank you guys for tuning in watching the way i prepare my irish moss specifically purple sea moss gel and hope to see you again